In this math class, I'm going to show you how to find the prime factors of 120 and then write your answer using exponential notation. So let's get started here. First off, we have to talk about what prime factors are. Prime factors are numbers that are prime numbers. For example, 2, 3, 5, 7. Those are the first several prime numbers. Prime numbers only have one in themselves as factors. The opposite of that is what we call composite numbers. Composite numbers have more than one in itself as factors. And then we also have neutral numbers. Neutral numbers are neither prime nor composite. Those numbers are 0 and 1. So let's get started here and come up with two factors of 120. Okay. To do this, we can think about how can we break 120 apart. Okay. There, there are several different ways that we can do it. We're going to do it by breaking it into 3 and 40. Okay, so let me go over here and get my pen. Okay, we're going to break it into 3 and 40. So, I don't have my tablet today, so I'm doing this with a mouse, so I apologize for the sloppiness. Okay, so there we got 3 and we got 40. Well, 3 is prime, so I'm going to go ahead and circle it. Okay, and then I'm going to break 40 into, since 40 is um, a composite number, I can break it down a little bit farther. I'm going to break 40 into 4 and 10. So there's my 4 and there's my 10. Okay, now neither of these numbers are prime, so i got to break them down a little bit farther than that. So I'm going to break 4 into 2 and 2. And then I gotta break 10 into two factors. Okay, I can break 10, two numbers that when I multiply them at equal 10, I can break it into 2 and 5. Okay, now I'm gonna circle all of my prime numbers. Okay, twos, these twos, all the twos here are prime. Okay, and then this 5 here is prime. Now, what I have to do is write an exponential notation. To do that, I have to write my repeated multiplication, because I'm going to multiply all these together. Okay, and then when I multiply them all together, I get 120. I've got to write my repeated multiplication as an exponent. So I have 1, 2, 3, 2's. And now I have to write the base is going to be 2, and the power or exponent is going to be Three. So it's 2 to the third power, and then I have to take it times 3. Now, I don't have the 3 is not being repeated, so I don't have to write a power up here. Okay? I don't have to put a 1 up here. I can just write it as 3. And then it's going to be 5 is going to be your last prime number. So your final answer is 2 to the third power times 3 times 5.